Today, we are delving into a critical topic for dental professionals and patients alike. The radiographic signs associated with inferior alveolar nerve damage following lower wisdom tooth extraction. Don't forget to save it and share it. Sometimes, during the surgical removal of the mandibular third molar, the inferior alveolar nerve can be damaged. This can lead to a loss of sensation in the lower lip, which is one of the most unpleasant post-operative complication. Let's explore the key radiographic signs that can help us identify the potential nerve damage risks. First up, let's talk about the darkening of the root. Usually, the density of the root is consistent throughout its length. However, when the inferior alveolar canal impinges on the root, you might notice a loss of density, making the root appear darker. Studies show that 93.1% of the teeth in the true relationship to the canal exhibit this sign. This darkening is due to the decreased amount of tooth substance or the loss of cortical lining of the canal. Next, we have deflected roots. This occurs when roots deviate abruptly as they reach the inferior alveolar canal. The root may deflect to the buccal or the lingual side or even both, potentially surrounding the canal completely. Narrowing of the canal is another key indicator. If you observe the root narrowing where the canal crosses, it suggests the canal has deeply grooved or perforated the root. Dark and bifid roots appear when the canal crosses the root apex, characterized by double periodontal membrane shadow at the bifid apex. This sign can indicate nerve involvement. The white lines forming the roof and the floor of the inferior alveolar canal are significant radiographic markers. An interruption of these lines, especially if it appears before reaching the tooth structure, can indicate deep grooving or even perforation of the root. Diversion of the inferior alveolar canal is when the canal changes the direction as it crosses the third molars. This change can signal potential nerve damage. Finally, narrowing of the inferior alveolar canal itself is a crucial sign. This occurs when the diameter of the canal reduces as it crosses the third molar, often creating an hourglass appearance. This indicates partial encirclement of the third molar. So, what are the key takeaways? The most significant signs related to nerve injury are the diversion of the inferior alveolar canal, followed by the darkening of the root and the interruption of the white line. Diversion of the canal is also significantly related to the grooved roots. Notably, darkening of the roots on the x-rays is the most reliable indicator of a true relationship between the third molar and the inferior alveolar canal, thus indicating potential nerve injury. So my dear friends, start observing the radiographs carefully to avoid missing crucial information. Ensure that the disimpaction is performed with minimum trauma after thorough treatment planning. Don't forget to save this video for future reference and share it with your colleagues and friends. See you soon. Take care.